वेलकम टू सलीका मैग दिस इज एन अदर लाइफ सो इट्स मॉर्निंग टाइम हेयर हैव अ गुड मॉर्निंग इफ़ यू आर हेयर जस्ट से हाई सो टूडे वीडियो इज अबाउट हाउ हाउ टू सॉल्व थ्रेड मे ब्रेकिंग इशू एक्चुअली आई गॉट अश्चन डेट टू वाई माई मशीन इज ब्रेकिंग थ्रेड अगेन एंड अगेन so i thought to share some tips and tricks and the reason actually that what are the reasons that actually um cause your thread breaking so if you are here just say a hi so we can start the lesson okay so the number one thing if you um, face any problem in your sewing machine the number one step is rethread your machine um most of the time only by rethreading your machine uh, your so, uh, problem is solved because somewhere in your thread is stuck that's why you getting some problem so every time you face any um issue number one step is rethread rethread the top thread and also the bottom thread uh take your bobbin out and rethread uh, it again so most of the time you will solve your problem but if still it breaks um there are some reasons um uh, the one of um the most important reason is that your tension is too high uh in my machine this is the tension dial uh, you can check on your machine that uh, which is your tension dial and if it's too high sometime by accident it move to uh, high so you can make it um um i mean a little loose uh, because uh, um sometime it also happen hi how are you uh, so sometime it happens because uh, um we are working with multiple layers or very thick fabric so uh, our tension is um, too high according to that uh, fabric because uh, we thought that um, uh, yesterday we stitch it was working fine so now what uh, happened today um, so the uh, thing is that the texture of fabric uh, required different type of uh, threads uh, different type of tensions so lose your try to lose your tension this is the um one step that you can do and uh, then um guys one thing that we usually don't uh, consider is um maybe your needle needle is maybe too high uh this is uh, an other reason of uh, thread breaking because it if it's too high um uh, maybe your this screw is loose and your needle is um too high so uh, try to adjust your needle and other thing is that we um usually don't change our needle until it breaks so this is a, a common habit um we do uh, at homes but your needle also expire because this is very sharp edge and you can feel here after some time try to um, change your needle uh, it's not very costly thing so um make sure make uh, make your habit that you after some time you have to change your needle and uh, how much time uh, um how long i mean you have to change it 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 um, obviously depend on the usage uh, so uh, how often you use your machine so that's uh, frequency of um, uh, using your machine also depend that you have to change your needle so this is uh, another thing that you have to check your needle okay then the um next thing is that maybe uh, you are working with two um two um heavy fabric or uh, according to your machine maybe your machine is a little more delicate machine uh, because there is different model some machine easily handle the thick fabric and some machine um uh, give you a, a little trouble while you are stitching on the th uh, thick fabric 
so uh, you usually do uh, with the uh, thick fabric also the with the same speed but uh, reduce your speed because uh, nowadays these plastic machines don't handle very thick fabrics so if you are working with uh, thick layers or thick fabric try to uh, redu uh, reduce your speed and go a little slow so this also um, uh, this way also you can avoid your uh, machine break okay so the next thing is that is also very important the thread quality thread quality is something that you have to keep in mind every time uh, because there is um, more cheaper fabric one thing is uh, that maybe the fabric is cheaper or very low quality fabric obviously it will break so spend some um, some money on your th uh, thread because uh, it is very very important thing so try to find some good brands if you can and uh, then start your stitching you will uh, definitely enjoy your stitching journey other thing is that we don't consider that thread is also a expiry date so we have some threads from some years or maybe on shop they have uh, from uh, some years i mean they are old old fabric also a tendency to break easily so you can check your um, thread it should not break very easily or it should not be very um, uh, i mean very uh, rough okay it should be smooth and the other thing is um, you have to consider is uh that uh, uh, it should it should be of good uh, good quality and it should not be um very old okay so i uh, hope these uh, tips are are uh, useful your, uh, for you try try to try to give uh, try to give uh, sorry guys <laughs> my kids are just to wake up so try to um uh, try all these tips and let me know if it uh, solve your problem and uh, one more thing that i want to share with you hi how are you <laughs> one more thing i want to share with you that uh, uh, usually it says that black color thread is also a very um, uh, have a very tendency to break it easily so every time if you are working with uh, black thread and also the black th uh, thread is something that uh, also use your eyesight so much so uh, if you are working with uh, black uh, black thread be patient that it may be happen with you um, be uh, because something in uh, the manufacture and all these thing if you go into the detail of the thread row making um, manufacturing process you can understand why the black color is th um, breaks so uh, so much easily than the other threads so if you have no choice um, but to work with the black thread um, just you can do is that uh, uh, slow your speed don't go very fast and uh, in that way you can avoid so just l let me recap that first step is you have to rethread your machine check your needle position check your thread um check your um, bobbin thread also maybe sometime it's too um, too tight so hope guys these um, um, tips are uh, useful uh, for you and let me know if any other problem you can ask me in the comment section and please if you like this video press the thumbs up button and you can check my playlist for the how to make uh, dress and uh, make the pattern for beginners and all these things i also uploaded a abaya making course you can check also on my playlist and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel so every time i come uh, live you can um, get the notification and uh, also hit the uh, bell icon and um, please um, press the thumbs up button so have a nice day uh, here is weekend so if you are in that part of uh, world where this is weekend so have a good weekend and thank you bye bye take care